I woke up in the morning and I just did my, my daily workout. Uh, that particular day I was in my backyard. You know, I was doing the exercises and uh, one of them is probably the most difficult or most taxing, strenuous. And, and after that, the next thing I remember is um, just being in my like hallucination. I was always aware that this might happen, um, but I was always told that I'm on the lower risk. So, but now that it actually happened, it was kind of like, all right, so it happened, so. Well, we got the heads up, the call from ER that he was coming in. And I remember at the time when we found out how old he was, he was so young, our heart just went out to him. I, I have a condition called unobstructive uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So basically my septum is thick. Uh, and so between the two ventricles. And so as far as I understand, sometimes it's uh, more difficult than others to get the blood flowing correctly or some, some kind of electrical signal. And so I guess that particular day, um, just the electrical signal got, kind of got messed up and, and uh, I went to cardiac arrest. It was very hectic and he was very sick and uh, we had to get everything ready to freeze him, basically. Code ICE is an alert system we use in the emergency department and throughout the house to um, identify patients who are in need of therapeutic hypothermia. Cold ICE is the induced hypothermia protocol, uh, which is the program for improving survival and recovery in patients with cardiac arrest. We're cooling the body down, which is preventing a response that would otherwise be harmful to the patient. The initiation of cooling is through uh, the infusion of, uh, cool, uh, of cold saline through the intravenous line, and then the maintenance is with cooling pads, which are monitored with a device called the Arctic Sun. Then we start to rewarm the body, and when we do, the body has recovered enough that it can start perfusing the brain again. I mean, it makes sense, and all the doctors that I've talked to afterwards, um, you know, they've said they've heard nothing but, you know, really successful uh, outcomes. I, I just bounced right back. I never felt like I missed a beat, really. The Therapeutic Hypothermia Program here at Torrance Memorial was put together by true collaboration between many departments, from the ICU to the ED, everybody had a part of it. The teamwork here is so good. As soon as we heard he was coming, everybody was on board. It was scary, but exciting at the same time because we knew he was strong, that he was gonna pull through. For the hospital to actually have that procedure all fell into place for me. Really lucky. <laughs>